with the sketch completed, I'm ready to extrude those sketches. So I'll select the first profile, then the second, and select Extrude from the menu. Drag it downwards, so it's a cut. Let's go for one millimeter, so that's a negative value. Now you can see that cut out. Let's just hide the sketches. You can see that just a little more clearly. We're going to be doing some work adding fillets in that area. But before we do that, we need to put a profile across the top surface. So I'm turning the sketches back on, so I'm showing the sketches and hiding the solid. I could use a straight line across the top here, just a bit of an angle, but I'm going to use a spline, which would be a little more interesting. So I'll sketch, spline. I want to start it on that sketch, just a little bit to the side of that circle. Probably about three or four points, just making it a little more of a curve, a little better than a straight line. Finish off the spline. Show the solids. And now what I want to do is cut that away from the rest of the body of the chocolate. So I'm going to do that by revolving. Construct, revolve. Select the profile. Select the axis. Make sure it's a cut. 360 degrees, the full revolution. And there we are. So that's taken the top off of that and given it a bit of a sloping surface. Hide the sketches. Now we're going to need six of those eventually, but we have to do a little bit of work before that. I'm going to remove the sharp edges using either chamfer or fillet. Let's start with modify chamfer. Select the edge. I can enter a value or drag on the arrow. In this case, I just give it an approximate value by dragging on that arrow. Now go to modify fillet. Select the edge, but then select the outside surface, and that puts that kind of dome shape on the top. Modify fillet, and select those edges. In this case, there are going to be three edges to select. I can enter a value or drag in the arrow. Well, let's make it a little more visual. We'll drag on that arrow, see which one looks best. About 0.2, so 0 0.2 millimeters looks good. And just one more set of edges to do there. So modify fillet, select all of those edges, and this time enter the value of 0 0.2. And that's the fillets complete in that area. I need to create five more of these patterns. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to go into pattern circular pattern. and I want to select all the faces in there. I can quickly select some with a window, but I now have to go and select all the others, holding down the control key to add these to the selection and being very careful that I select all of them, otherwise it simply won't work. So I'm orbiting around. There's one there. That one. I'm not sure I got that one at the back. Let's try that one again. One face. I'm pretty sure that one at the back needs selected. Yes, it does. So we're looking good there. All the faces are selected. Now I want to select the axis. Any of these circular axes will do. And there's the initial preview of three. I want them to be six. Change that to six. Might take a few seconds with all those fillets. And there are the six patterns. So we've created the model of the chocolate. Just one more fillet to add on. I want to round that off a little more. Let's try two millimeters. I'll go back to 1.5. I think that's better. So we'll select 1.5. Now it's supposed to be a chocolate, but it uh, doesn't quite look like a chocolate. So let's change the material into material. And there we have a chocolate paint. And the chocolate's complete.